Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Caden Composition Escalation set in Bangkok. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. We're going to cover all five levels in this video, starting from level one. And these are the items we're going to bring with us, the default items, your default gun and coin and fiber wire. And we're going to start undercover on the second floor, already disguised as a member of the class. Well, it's like a groupie kind of thing. Um, but anyway, from the start point, you want to run straight up the stairs to where the, um, the penthouse is going to be. I'm going to need to take out uh, one of the bodyguards to get his disguise first. So we need to take out Dexy Barrett with uh, the bodyguard disguise. So we're just going to grab that hammer there from the piano, uh, one well, next to the piano, and we're going to throw it at the bodyguard's head right here. The reason why we're not subduing him is just to avoid the punch glitch, so it, that's the only reason why I did that. Um, so I'm just going to dump his body in the crate just next to it, making sure we pick up the gun, and then put on his disguise. Now what we've got to do at this point is just wait for Dexby, Dexy Barrett to come over to this area over here. She's currently going up the stairs right now, up into this, uh, into this uh, Jordan suite over here. She's actually going to make her way up the stairs that's just behind us. So uh, just, to, just to fiber wire her, what we're going to need to do is just throw a coin and distract her. And just to get her to um, get her to come where we are right now, so we're just going to crouch and throw a coin right next to that crate right there on the left, and uh, we're just going to quickly get up to this area because she can see through this disguise. You don't have to do it the fiber wire; you can just do it. You can kill her any way you want to, but I wanted to do this nice and clean, so that's the only reason why I did this fiber wire. But if you experience the punch glitch or anything like that, or people seeing through walls, I recommend just uh, you just shoot her in the head. That's all you got to do. Is just you know. In fact, you can shoot her in the head as she's going up the stairs. No one else goes up those stairs anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. So once you've taken care of her and dumped her body in the crate, uh, we can head straight to the exit. The only person you need to worry about is this dude here at the top of the stairs, which is always annoying and he ruins a lot of runs, really, <laughs> when it comes to this particular map. But once he has his back turned, we can head straight back downstairs and all the way to the main exit. And uh, we are completely done for level one. Now, for level 2 and level 3, they're all very, very similar. Well, I say similar, but they're pretty much exactly the same. Uh, the only additional thing we need to do in level 2 is take the, but the bodyguard that we actually subdued in this particular run here, and for level 1, we actually have to kill him. He's now a target, and we Sir? can take him out with in any disguise that we, we desire. So, uh, the only thing that's changed between level 1 and level 2 is the fact that we have to kill that bodyguard rather than actually subduing him. So what I will actually do is speed it up until that point and then I'll show you of me just killing him. But like I said, you don't really need a guide for level 2 because it's exactly the same. And it's the same in regards to level 3 as well. So in fact, no, what I actually will do is cut out level 2 altogether and skip straight to level 3. Because they're exactly the same, they're identical, so it doesn't really matter. So just for the benefit of the video, I've cut out level 2 because um, level 3, um, we will be doing exactly the same thing as we did... Uh, for level 2 so that's why I've cut out level 2 so it doesn't really matter because we're all doing exactly the same thing using the same location same items as we did for level 1 and we're going to run straight up the stairs just like we did in level 1 so this you will have to do this for level 2 and level 3 exactly the same um, like I said it's just really really simple really so this is the target what we're going to need to do is just uh, take him out we're going to garrot him with the fiber wire and then you'll have a timer at the top right, uh, top left corner of your screen, uh, counting down from 60 seconds. Now, the 60 seconds you might seem like, oh, it's panic mode, let's go into panic mode and start, uh, you know, rushing. But you don't need to do that because you have so much time. 60 seconds is a very, very long time. We have more than enough time in our bag to uh, take care of this kill. But we're going to do the fiber white option just like we did uh, for the previous levels. So like I said, this will cater for level 2 and level 3. So this is the reason why I've done that. Instead of showing you the same footage again and again, which I don't want to do, I don't like repeating myself. So we're just going to throw a coin just like there, just like we did in the previous levels. And we're going to fiber wire her. If you are still worried about the time and it's dead close, just shoot her in the head. You won't have no problems. You don't even have to hide a body, but like I said, I wanted it to be nice and clean for this uh, particular escalation. Except for level 5, that's the exception, and you'll see why. 
but we're just going to dump her body in the crate rod then again head to the exit and once you've head to the exit you will be completely done for level three but like i said it's the same for level two and level three they're identical so um, that's the reason why i've cut that out so what we'll actually do is fast forward until we get to the exit because it's nothing interesting So that will take care of your Son Assassin rating for level 3. Again it will be the same as level 2. So now we can move on to level 4. Now for only thing that's different in level 4 is we have an additional target. So all the same rules apply as the previous levels but now we have an additional target. So it is quite simple and quite easy to get. We're using the same items as we did before. We're going to start undercover in the same location. The only thing that's different is we're going to swap out our pistol for our Krugermeyer pistol instead. So first of all, when we start off, we're going to shoot that camera out, there you go. And then we're going to run over to uh, this room over here where all the dudes are hanging out. And our target is actually going to be in the bathroom having a piss. So what we're going to need to do is just shoot him in the head with this pistol. And the reason why we shot him in the head instead of drowning him is because of uh, the unfortunate uh, set of circumstances in which the people in that room... Uh, can see you through the wall, which is really annoying, but that's just the way it is. So we need, when we come up these stairs, we bumped into Dexy Barrett there, and we ran straight into the kitchen past that uh, guy that was an enforcer, and that's the reason why we came to the kitchen, because we need to do this quite fast. I was trying to get over to this guy over here as fast as I could, and his ear is our target, so we want to catch him as he's walking through this section here. So we're just going to subdue him and snap his neck. I mean, you could use your pistol, you can use your fiber wire, it doesn't matter for that kill. But once you've dumped his body in the crate, make sure you grab his disguise as well. I nearly forgot in this run as well, but make sure you grab that bodyguard's disguise. So here comes Dexy Barrett through the stairs now. This is when I realised I needed that disguise. So quickly put it on and then throw the coin again near, next to the crate to the left. Okay. Hide behind the piano. She's going to come over to investigate and this time we're going to just shoot her in the head. Even though we have 30 seconds left, but I don't want to experience any punch glitches or wall hacks, so I just want to shoot her in the head, and then that will take care of the final kill and the final target of this particular level of level 4. We're just going to dump her body in the crate while we're here, why not? And then we're going to run straight to the exit, and we are done for level 4. And just for the benefit of the video, I'm going to fast forward all the way to the exit, and then we can move on to level 5. So that will take care of your Son Assassin rating for uh, the Caden Composition Escalation Level 4. So now we can move on to Level 5. And now we're using the same items as we did in the previous level. We've got to take out all three targets with the Katana Sword. Um, I realise this is the screenshot from Level 4, but it's exactly the same items for Level 5. I forgot to take the screenshot for Level 5, but it's exactly the same. So when you start off uh, immediately, what you need to do is pull out your Kruger Mine and then shoot out the camera that's just up to our top left. Once you head up the stairs, what we need to do is, uh, the enforcer that's at the top of the stairs, what we need to do is bump into him. I didn't actually do on this run, so I'm not even completely sure if you have to do or not. But that was my intention of trying to do it, but this works out completely fine anyway. So once you've done that, you need to bump into that bodyguard right there. And then uh, we need to get the katana sword. And the katana sword is going to be in the room opposite to this area just ahead of us right here and the katana sword will be just on the bed you need to do this super fast because it's all about timing for this escalator uh, level five unfortunately so we're going to crouch run through this bit here and then throw the katana sword just there otherwise you will get spotted retrieve it and then leap over the wall quickly run down the stairs and then crouch behind these sets of uh, crates right here here is our target in front of us we're going to take him out uh, really quickly with the katana sword right there you go we leave his body there but take his disguise now as Dexy Barrett is going up the stairs go up there marginally and then throw the sword at her head and then quickly pick it up and then head back down the stairs to where we originally started you'll know if you've done the timing right if that enforcer is not turned around and he has his back he's, he's, uh, he's facing the wall so he won't spot you 
our third and final target is just going to be in the bathroom in this room over here. So close the door behind you, bump into the target once he's in the room, and then pull out your coin and then drop it one on the floor. He will come over to win, uh, pick up the coin and then we're going to attack him with a katana sword and that will take care of the third and final target. And the reason why we are distracted him with the coin there is just to avoid any uh, bullshit uh, wall hacks or people seeing through doors. That's the only reason why I did that. So the only person you need to worry about now is the person that's outside the door. He is an enforcer, we're just going to wait for him to turn around like he did there. And now we can head straight to the exit and complete this entire escalation. I did not enjoy this escalation, I didn't think it was very good. It's very repetitive and level 5 was kind of annoying. Getting the timing right and I'm sure it will still annoy you despite watching this video. But unfortunately that's just the way it is. We've only had a, um, a couple of escalations from Bangkok. I believe, it, I don't know if this is the second or third escalation from Bangkok now. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the next uh, kind of uh, featured contracts or uh, escalations actually come out in Sapienza because we've actually been lacking a lot of co content from Sapienza actually. It's been quite a while since we've had any Sapienza content really. But I'm hoping that's where uh, all the new stuff, new featured contracts for next week is going to come in a hit. I do know the elusive target is going to be in Marrakesh next week, so we will have that to look forward to. But that will take care of your Son Assassin rating for all five levels of the Caden Composition uh, Escalation. And that's going to do it for this entire video. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit a like on this video if it helped you out in any way. Subscribe here if you are new to the channel for more escalations, elusive targets, featured contracts and challenges. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.